Hello, this is Ryan from Justifier. Just do it. And I'm doing the eight pillars of prosperity with my friend Anthony Beatles. And he's asking me to be the action guy. See, pillar number two is economy. And the four qualities of economy, economy are this. Modernation, efficiency, resourcefulness, and originality. See, at the end of the day, your economy is what's around you and what you make of it. See, making things efficient, you know, Anthony talks in his article about getting from point A to point B in a straight line. That's the fastest way. And although there are no straight lines in the universe, when you truly define it, even if you took the finest pencil against the against the straightest ruler and drew it down and you can see that it's perfectly lined when you take it under a microscope it has those jagged little edges so in reality there is no such thing as a straight line however we can make our destination from point A to point B that much quicker with less curves simply if we put into our plan these four qualities that define economy. So I would say your action plan for this, look around you, see how you can create a little bit more harmony in your life by creating a plan on a daily basis to map out what it is. He also mentions about money and the first thing when we think about economy is money. Is your money right? Are you doing the right things with your money? Are you educated enough about your finances to be making the best decisions with them. I'll share with you over the weekend. I met a young man who is who is actually happy that he has a 20% interest on his car note. 20% interest on a five-year loan. When you do the math on that, and I don't know what his car was, but let's just say a moderate used car at $15,000. At 20% a year, he's paying $30,000 for that car over the life of the loan. Should not be happy. He was happy because he actually found a way to pay his note down by paying more money each month, essentially paying less interest because he'll pay the car off faster. My question to him was this, and we are going to elaborate it on, on a further discussion that we have scheduled this week, was this. What if you had your credit right so that you weren't paying 20%? See, it's one thing to pay things down, but it's another thing to have your credit right going into the loan so that you wouldn't be paying those crazy interest rates or outsourcing credit in another way, and that's a whole other thing. But had he had the plan and made it more efficient and became resourceful, right? And that's why I said outsource. But the originality of that is, does he know somebody who has good credit? Is his integrity that I talk about in the next, high enough with somebody else that they say, I'll sign for you because I know you're about to build because you've taken the education, you've told me this is what you're doing to improve your credit, but right now it doesn't make sense to pay 20% interest on a car note. See, orig originality came into there, resourcefulness, becoming more efficient with your finances, and you're avoiding excess fees, and that's modern nation, modern, modern nation. So guess what? Guys, focus in the areas of your economy. Your economy is your surroundings. Whatever it is that you, he mentions intake of food. That's part of your economy. People say organic is too expensive. You cannot afford to not eat organic simply because the back end results, which is cancer, bad health, low energy levels so that you can't function at a level that is high enough for you to become useful to somebody else. If you're always tired and sluggish and an employer needs you to perform at a certain level, but you're always calling out sick, isn't that a little bit more expensive to be losing days at work than it would be to just buy the organic, have the right fuel for your body? I know it's hard to go out and go for a run or go to the gym. It's just not enough hours in the day. But you find two, three hours a night to watch television? That's contradicting itself. You have the time. You're just choosing.
to not use it wisely. Those are your economic conditions that you are choosing to create, good or bad. It's your choice. I say, really, really, our, our number one asset in our economy is our time. How are you, you using your time? I want you each, this is your homework. I want you each to do this. Document for five days straight, preferably like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and a Saturday and Sunday because the three days during the week will give you true proof of how you spend your weekdays and then you also have the weekend how you spend that time. Document how many hours you spend doing each thing. Sleep. Time with family. Watching television, and those are not the same. I want to know how many hours you're actually watching television or watching that tube or watching a movie in a theater. Document those items and then work. So family, work, sleep, TV, or some form of entertainment that is not outside working out. And then I'd like you to document how much time you spend exercising. And if your exercise isn't up there for at least a half hour a day, you're wasting your energy. You're not creating new energy levels. If you're spending too much time in front of the television, you're just getting, you're losing muscle mass and you're probably not eating properly. If you're sleeping more than eight hours, you're probably sleeping too much. If you're not spending a significant amount of time with your family on a daily basis, you're wasting your life and they will leave you. If it's a spouse, if it's a child, they have resentment when they get older. They say, you didn't spend any time with me. I'm not spending any time with you. These are the things that we do to ourselves when we don't take and make an action plan towards how we're going to spend our time. We create it. You create your own destiny. You create your own economy. Document what it is that you're doing. And if you don't like the results, you have the ability to change, but you don't have the ability to change until you do what? Become conscious by actually documenting what you're doing. And then when you see the proof in the pudding, you know you can make a change. This is Ryan from Justifier. Just do it. You go create your economy.